This week, I'm going to show you how I incorporated light in between my two woodworking pieces. A while ago, I did a log cabin. I'm not sure that I actually filmed what I did, so I'm going to give you bits and pieces of me cutting it out on the scroll saw, but then I put some LEDs behind the log cabin so you can see it at night light up. And we hooked it up to our smart things and each night at dusk it lights up. It's really, I love it. It's really neat. So come along and see how that turns out. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to John Petrick. I think I'm saying your name right. I hope I am. You're the one who mentioned when you watched my Tree of Life video about incorporating light. And I'm like, oh, I've done that before. Here, let me show you. So thank you, John. I appreciate that you're subscribing to my channel. And I hope you like this log cabin. Before we get started, just a random comment on iMovie. I end up scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to try and find the photo I'm looking for to make these videos. So I was like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Why can't I find these photos? I upload them, and then when I go to look for them, I can't find them. There's got to be a solution. What I've discovered is you can create a file name when you're uploading them at the very top of iMovie. It may take you a little bit longer when you're uploading photos, but in the end, it'll keep you from scrolling. This is the log cabin that I started to work on a few years back. Now, it was too big to do on my scroll saw in one piece, so I had to do it in sections. And to do something in sections, of course, you got to prepare and make sure that you're <laughs> mitigating all the dust that occurs when you do this. This log cabin is made out of a piece of Chechen that I had to resaw and a piece of Baltic birch for the back. I didn't really get any good shots of me doing this on the scroll saw. It was so big that when I had to spin it, it would hit the camera. I do know it took me forever to thread that blade in and out of all of these little cracks and crevices. I just absolutely love how this turned out. Now to figure out the lighting. It was hard to figure out the hue and what we really wanted to make this work, so we tried it in different ways. This is our final version before we hung it on the wall. I think we really nailed it. It really looks good. Now this is up on the wall, and this is what turns on every night at dusk. And you can't tell because this wall backs up into another room so upstairs versus downstairs when you see it from the side you don't know how it's plugged in we drilled a hole and went into another room to get it connected this angle should give you a better perspective on how we drilled the hole into the wall Remember how I told you we hooked this up to our smart things and could turn it on? So cool! Keep watching, you'll see how we can adjust the light. <laughs> 